I'm Allison Plyer from the Greater New Orleans Community Data Center, and this is an overview of the New Orleans Index at 6. There have been multiple disasters since 2005 when Katrina hit and the levees failed. And all around the world, people are looking to the Gulf Coast to see what are the lessons learned uh, after a catastrophe the size of Katrina so that they can understand how to rebuild their own areas better. Well, typically what happens after a disaster is whatever the trends were before the disaster get accelerated. So if you were losing population and had a weak economy, you'd lose population faster and have a weaker economy. And on the other hand, if you were really booming and gaining population, then those trends would get accelerated too. Well, there are a few cases where regions have broken with that historic past by taking the opportunity to really reform some of their important institutions and use the rebuilding assistance they got from the outside to make their institutions stronger um, and then ultimately to you know, latch on to important economic growth opportunities in the vicinity. Well, New Orleans is particularly exceptional because we've had Katrina and then the recession and now the oil spill most recently. Three disasters in five years is a lot. But despite this, there is evidence that suggests that the region may be on the path to transformation. Brookings Institution Press is releasing a book called Resilience and Opportunity, Lessons from the U.S. Gulf Coast. And it brings together about 20 different local scholars who document all the major reforms that have happened here post-Katrina. Everything from public education to criminal justice reform, health care reform, land use planning, the work that we've done around the wetlands, the rise in civic engagement, ethics reform. But in general, the authors are really only cautiously optimistic because there's some areas that these, these reforms are under threat and most of them are dependent on money that was came just for post-disaster rebuilding. The New Orleans Index at six takes 20 different indicators and measures whether New Orleans is breaking from its historical path and moving more toward prosperity, inclusion, and sustainability. Here are some of the positive trends. The New Orleans economy has weathered the recession relatively well buffered by the stimulus of billions of dollars of public and private post-Katrina rebuilding investments. Since 2008, the New Orleans Metro lost 0.1% of all jobs, while the nation lost 4.5% of jobs. And while the recession pushed median household incomes down 7% nationwide over the last decade, incomes in the New Orleans Metro held steady. Entrepreneurship has spiked post-Katrina and remains well above the national average. And a greater share of public school students now attend schools that meet state standards, with the largest gains in New Orleans. Yet several trends remain troubling. Despite the short-term stimulus from rebuilding investments, the New Orleans region is still largely reliant on legacy industries in decline. The three largest economic drivers, tourism, oil and gas, and shipping and logistics, have shed tens of thousands of jobs since 1980, and the gains in other sectors have not made up for these losses. The reliance on older industries doesn't bode well for future job growth. Black and Hispanic households earn 50% and 30% less than white households, respectively. And income disparities in the New Orleans metro are increasingly stark as compared to national disparities. Violent crime rates in the city are 80% higher than the national average. And fully 29% of the coastal wetlands that protect the New Orleans metro has been converted to open water since 1932. New Orleans has made incredible progress since the storm in public education reform, criminal justice reform, multiple reforms, perhaps more than any other modern American city simultaneously. But these reforms have been aided by massive federal rebuilding funds. Over the long term, New Orleans will need a stronger economy in order to further prosperity and inclusion in the region. New Orleans needs to come together as a region to work on a business plan, really, to leverage our strengths in shipping and logistics, energy, higher education, and construction and engineering to move into some really fast-growing industries such as wind energy manufacturing, carbon storage, and water management. By moving into the newer industries, we'd be moving our economy into the future. Instead of relying on old industries that are declining, we'd be hitching our train onto new industries that are growing. In order to be sustainable for the long term, the city and the region need wetlands restoration, and we also need to learn how to live with water, just like the Dutch do, and have canals that go through the city where water can go whenever there's a large surge. The purpose of the New Orleans Index at Six is to give New Orleanians and all of our partners, state, federal, and philanthropic facts so that we understand where we are today and where we might go from here.